Welcome guys to another episode of Technical Insights. So in this one, we will be going through some of the markets and I will be showing you some of my previous trades that I took from the previous um, episode as well. So uh, hopefully you're all fine, you're all doing well and safe, of course, in these uncertain times. So let's begin by uh, having a very good look at this um, article from a currency thought. That's a website that I love uh, to use on a daily basis because um, it gives a very brief and very nice um, in details, but at the same time, very simple to understand uh, fundamental summaries. And I believe this is uh, from a guy called Larry Greenberg, uh, simply because it's his website. So as you can see, a very nice first first um, paragraph says the evolution of the COVID-19 highly remains uncertain, but investors have chosen hope over fear at least for a day or so. So yeah, I mean, that's what you can see throughout the, the world. The economies are being reopened. Yeah, everyone is coming back uh, at their jobs. Everyone is getting more and more uh, um, active once again. Um, also, we got some nice news regarding uh, vaccination as well, uh, especially from Russia. Um, and some of the economical data also been improving. If we take a look at um, previous week fundamentals, as you can see right here, even though I'm not the biggest fan of fundamental data, I'm not doing in-depth fundamental analysis, but still you have to understand some of the numbers. But looking from a very simple perspective, you see, um, last week we got quite a bit of positive Euro uh, news as well, even though on Friday the pound retail sales was massively uh, lower, uh, e even worse than expected, but we all know why. So that's why the market been already priced in, I believe so. So we we never saw a massive um, a massive opportunity and a massive uh, some kind of a, a downside momentum on pound. And this week so far we are seeing um, pound even getting stronger. Okay, so if we come to the charts, um, this is my CAD Japanese yen. Um, and I took this long position very, very um, uh, precise, as you can see. The reason being for this trade is, of course, the overall market structure. I believe you can all see very clearly that we've been pushing lower, we've been kind of sideways, then we started to push, to push very nice waves to the upside. Wave 1, okay, wave 2, pullback, and now we're pulling to my initial targets where we are about to make a new higher high in the market. I mean, we already have a new higher high, but I believe we should push this final few uh, few pips into the minus 27.2 Fib extension um, region. Okay, so that's my cat Japanese yen. Upon uh, achieving this um, area right here, I will then be looking for potential pullback and maybe even a continuation to the upside once again, but more about this later. By the way, my stop loss is already at break even and upon reaching 50% of my initial take profit zone, I took out 50% of my profits. So I'm aim aiming for 3.8% on this trade. So I locked already um, 1.6% uh, percent um, one yeah pretty much um, already so it's lovely and then the rest is just uh, still still holding it and if we push for the final area right here it's going to be lovely also I do have a Swiss franc Japanese yen longs as well as you can see I don't even have my key levels on this currency per simply because this trade was solely based on um, market behavior and as you can see I have these two points of structure I have this high and then this new higher high pull back and now we're pushing for a new higher high potentially <clears throat> so far um, I believe because I haven't checked it just yet uh, we achieved my 50% mark 
so my uh, I believe a half of my position should be closed already because I have two orders set so yeah we already locked over 1% 1 percent 1.2 percent pretty much <clears throat> um, it's locked and my stop loss I will have to make it break even so yeah it's looking kind of nice another trade that I missed was Aussie Japanese yen as you can see there is a simple textbook trade once again we've been doing a double top we pushed lower we failed to make uh, the comeback into the previous area right here so we formed a new higher low the market push higher form a new higher high pull back into the previous area new higher low and now we made a new higher high so this was a very nice trade as well uh, sadly i missed this but i cannot say nothing simply because i took swiss franc japanese yen um, and cat japanese yen as well <clears throat> So yeah, all of the currency pairs again Japanese yen is looking bullish for me, um, as well as NZD Japanese yen. As you can see, same thing. Break retest continuation nicely. Um, also, I had a GBP USD shorts, um, and I am happy to close it right here when I saw the market on a two hourly when I saw the market actually failing to failing to uh, break out below here I simply closed my position so my initial entry my initial entry was on this spiky price action right here I was expecting pound to drop and my sorry about this my stop loss was right here where this black line is i was expecting pound to push like here but when i saw the market failing to maintain this area over here at 12160 i simply took out my position um off um i locked pretty much 1.7 percent or so and i simply um left the market and as you can see upon making this higher low over here the market actually showed the breakout of this initial area right here showed a very nice um, breakout very mini pullback very mini one candle pullback and then massive push up simply because us dollar yesterday was really weak so looking at a current perspective let's open up at least four hourly and maybe even six hourly time frame from what i can see right here we do have this area this area um, of of a support but I wouldn't be surprised if we take this out to the downside because I believe we should retest this price area over here first because this is the previous point of structure so if we manage to show a break retest new higher low we may as well just pop higher and we may as well pop into previous structural high which is over here this is a possibility if we manage to sustain this bullish momentum on gbp usd now another great um, opportunity on gj as you've been uh i believe you as you remember i've been saying this inverse head and shoulder is a fantastic trade setup absolutely fantastic trade setup um, some people been messaging me all over the uh, social media saying that this is just another leg um, to the downside because the market is bearish uh, simply ignoring the fact that this is a very key pattern for a reversal at a key level 129 based off a weekly higher low as you can see right here super nice um, I'm not saying that we're not gonna come back all the way to the downside but at least uh, for now um, I had a very quick long position upon this a breakout over here on two hourly I believe yes when I saw this candlestick over here I took a long position I was aim aiming not much up until here for the market potential double top so I was out in profits right here, made about 2.3% or so. The market pushed high and now we're pulling back. So I'm waiting for this big setup to form um, simply because the market now 
made a very nice high. We peaked into the previous area. In comparison to the previous high, we made a new higher high. So now what I'm looking is we pretty much can still pop into here, form a new higher low, which is also a potential fib area as well. As you can see, yeah, very nicely and precise, 50%, maybe even 61.8. And then from here, we may as well expect a new high to be made where we will be fulfilling our uh, inverse um, head and shoulder formation. Uh, for those who don't see the inverse head and shoulder formation, let me quickly show you um, how it looks. So as you can see, on this six hourly is the best. Uh, we had a left shoulder, we had a head, and we got a right shoulder over here. Okay, very, very powerful pattern especially the inverse head and shoulder it has a very it has even bigger possibility uh, for a fulfillment of a of a reversal than just a standard um, head and shoulder from the bullish side so the inverse one is stronger is stronger so now we made a new high as you can see so we're looking for the higher low once again with a rejection and continuation for a new higher high. This is what I'm looking at GBP Japanese Yen. <clears throat> now, if we look at gold as well, very important thing, as you, as you can see 170 is now being retested as we speak, exactly as I've been saying on the last episode, and I've been saying this for the past good few days for our students. So we took a great short from here, I missed a short from here, but it, I'm happy to say that the market is coming for my retest of 170. From here, we come back for retest, and then it's a decision point whether a new low, new new down leg, or a new higher low and continuation. Long term perspective, I'm gold longs. I'm, I'm bullish on gold. Um, for long-term perspective, but we do need to see this relief of pressure, especially from the weekly. As you can see, look at this: how we, how, how crazy we are um, at the highs with no massive pullback. So something like this over here, something like this, can actually happen um, now as well. So if we copy and paste the box. If I put it from here, so it is a possibility, a possibility, the harmonic move uh, where we can actually pop into one, 150, as I've been saying uh, from pretty much maybe five episodes or so uh, from the monthly, this spike over here can be retested, which is pretty much at 150, 1450 as well. So we will see about this because so far on a monthly uh, we have a lot of selling pressure forming so i wouldn't be surprised if we actually just melt somewhere mid areas right here but of course we have to wait for the market to give us the signals and then we um then we go uh the reason why gold is actually pulling lower uh is of course based on more kind of fundamentally because the market is reopening we are getting more and more positive data more and more um positive vaccination data etc etc which gives investors an opportunity to actually get a risk on and invest into into the riskier assets that's why things like japanese yen and gold is now melting melting to the downside simply because um we are getting um kind of risk on mood in all of the markets including stocks as well yesterday stocks did kind of great so that's gold guys now what else can we look at euro usd um yesterday formed a double top formation i was expecting euro usd to actually pop into to actually pop into this uh we saw the break a comeback pop into here and make a new downside leg however because of the very weak gold sorry dollar we saw um, a rally 
made a double top formation over here now it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting so for my trade setup to be still valid because my bearish bias is still valid because we never made a new high what i would love to see for the current price action over here i would love to see um oh what's happening i'm not programming nothing um i i would love to see a break of this menu region Let's open up a two hourly time frame for me. Um, so a break of this region, pull back somewhere mid, mid range over here, make a new lower high and then new bearish leg. I'm um, kind of targeting, targeting the previous area right here for potential range or maybe even going all the way into the previous lows. So we will see about this daily daily is looking messy even though we had a nice morning star formation uh, but we popped straight to the key area of resistance the top of the range so we have a possibility for the market to do something like this a push a comeback a high low and now we can actually break out and push even higher <coughs> which makes sense but in order for this to happen we must see a very clear breakout a very clear breakout of the previous key region over here and this area of resistance is strong so let's see if we're going to fulfill the short entry or actually we're going to see a breakout to the upside and usd cad usd cad also fantastic fantastic movement uh, this weekend we had student in the office so I was telling him about this area where we saw a break, <clears throat> a break, a comeback, a retest of the previous region, and now we simply melted to the downside. Now what I'm looking at is a comeback, retest, and continuation um, to the downside for USD CAD. And also this was a fantastic fit play, <clears throat> as you can see, 61.8 rejection evening star formation straight to the target zone i mean this is a, a a trade from a textbook it's fantastic and looking from the weekly perspective as you can see we do have a lot of room to drop into first targets being here second targets here eventually hitting 3.1 sorry 1.33 hundred so if we can mark the mini the mini regions just like that as you can see this is the target zones for usd cad this is now irrelevant so we we uh we we wait and see <clears throat> what's going to happen um let's take a look at us oil as well us oil it's kind of laggy as you can see we are pulling back we are pulling back nicely i use the bodies on this one uh we uh, i do see us oil coming in the 43 44 region before potential another big big leg um lower or maybe even a bullish breaker but i'm not seeing bullish on us oil and uk oil as well i'm not bullish on oil in any means so that's why if i see bullish opportunity a short-term perspective why not why not it's a quick way to make uh some nice profits but overall i'm not in, i'm not into bullish side long-term perspective on oil so yeah four hourly for a nice bullish trade setup what i would love to see now is um breakout of this high over here breakout come back to retest it and then push to the upside um for more bearish scenario uh, we have a 34 50 35 kind of psychological numbers um if we fail to uh, sustain here then two hourly is very simple we have this low over here so i need to see a breach come back lower high and then continuation as simple as it gets <clears throat> on us oil as well uh, okay so yeah 
um, also 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 let's we can take a look at um, maybe some indices maybe some SMB 500 look at this we are back at 3000 that's what I that's what I've been saying yesterday uh, sorry a few a few minutes ago that the market is getting bullish uh, the market is coming back and stocks did great yesterday my stock portfolio actually pushed nicely to the upside so yeah the market is the market is still um but never get tricked into this bullishness because this is nothing more than potentially pullback zone and from here on god knows what's going to happen but long-term perspective like multi-months i'm not bullish on any stocks because we still need to see a comeback into the previous point of key structure so we had almost touched this area but we are still making bullish signs but i'm not i'm not bullish too much so like short-term perspective this quarter over here itself can still be kind of profitable for stocks but i don't see how how we remain such a bullish i mean we should see a massive massive correction coming fairly soon so this trend line over here was saved the market been saved by this trend line but it's not it's not for long i believe so yeah we will see about this uk 100 very similar scenario i did this analysis with my students on my live session so i still kind of see a bit of a more bullish uh coming soon uh, to retest the previous area before another big big leg to the downside okay so we had this double top over here so far so up on the breakout of this region over here the breakout retest we can pop into this price point over here <clears throat> and then maybe form another massive downside lag but more about this when this happens so now there is no point to look at it okay nikkei nikkei nicely pushing higher kind of similar to s p 500 chart yeah especially this part over here especially this part over here so we are also coming into potentially of course the fib region 61.8 now being abridged uh, so far so we're gonna see what's uh what's about to happen but all of these pullbacks still makes a lot of sense for me okay so guys thank you thank you for watching this breakdown hopefully this will be beneficial for you hopefully you will take some gems um that they left especially from points of structure and yeah i wish you all the best uh, for the remaining of the week um thank you for watching once again um stay safe take care and manage your risk well i will see you guys on the next episode